at least we tried, a craft show where we recreate a project based off of a photo alone. Today we are going to be trying our hands at paint pouring. Ooh, okay, so paint pouring is like all the rage now. Um, you see it all over the interwebs. We are gonna try to paint pour on stones. We also have some wood here in case the rocks just fail entirely. Um, basically, I guess you're gonna take some paint and pour it. So the first photo that we are pulling inspiration from is beach inspired pour art. So that's, and the photo is done on stones and it looks like it's waves. Okay. Crashing. I've only seen this done one or two times, so I am definitely going to be challenged. At yeah. This. I see it all over my Facebook. They make it look yeah. easy. Okay. on top of them and then like in the picture with the rock pouring it was like it had one of these with sticks so you could place the rock on top and pour over it okay so, so that's this where would be our pour over it yes and i found this pouring medium i don't know what it does entirely i'm assuming it makes the paint thinner so that it will pour regular acrylic the cheapest kind you can get yes Key West, oh my God, tropical. This is Key West, Caribbean, and turquoise. All right, all right. Yes, there Did was a gold need one. brown or no? No. I wasn't sure if it was like a sandy beach or just the it water. It could be, beach. right, that's the thing. Like, well, here's the thing. If you did a rock like this, which is nice and sand colored, you just ah, pour. I see the gist now. You know you're, look, you're going for the water on top of the yeah. sand. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this turns out okay. Definitely, the beach is gone. She's sure accepted is. her fate. She is a psychedelic blue. That does look cool, though. Rock. Oh, yours is thick, right? Okay, she's got a technique down. I got something going on. It's literally the same thing you did, except mine is not swirling. It's. Lying because you're going like horizontally. Okay. So so on that last rock, we started with dark. We I think we both start with dark at the bottom. So, so let's try, try starting first. with light. Okay. Let's get some brown. I'll mix some browns while you do that. She's up for the pour. I don't know what pours first. Like, do the bottom layers pour first? 
or does the top pour first? You know what I'm saying? Because whatever this is right here, yeah, I like the way it came out. And I'm wondering if it's because we squirted that stuff. But is that from the top of my cup or is this from the top? <laughs> Someone help us understand the physics of paint pouring. Like, when the paint is layered, what's coming out first? Okay, so by the third test rock, we, did it. we don't know how to do it, but we did We don't know what we did. We kind of figured out with this last test rock how to give it more of a beachy, like, swirl. Like, we just went straight across, like, horizontally. Mine actually like, there's like little holes in the rock where it didn't cover. Well, that's cool. And so like it made it like weave around it. Okay. So, I did too much white, so mine's not a great impression. But it still is, I think it's giving more of a swirl than those. Like the right. first rock was like totally covered in like two colors. It was like two colors. Yeah, I am confident in this style now and yeah. I am, I'm gonna do a final one in this color scheme. Okay. But then I wanna play with the other colors. Okay. <laughs> because I need to be a chill. Ooh. This one right here is my favorite. I'm gonna leave it, leave it, but this is not my final one <laughs> because this is gross. Yeah, so we're gonna go do some um, more fun colors on like rock, the rest of the rocks that we have. <laughs> I know, but it's not really good. <sighs> okay, so now I just want to dip everything into. <laughs> I want to dip everything into this. Oh no! That came out really nice. It's called paint pouring, not, not paint, paint dipping. dipping. No. That's not it. That's not it. But <laughs> it worked. But that's not it. What should we talk about when we're like doing mindless things? <laughs> Someone said, "Wow, like really, we are really outdone themselves making this all immersive this year." Oh no! <laughs> so true though. But what we're going through right now is less like Black Mirror and more. Where is my necklace? <laughs> that is a great question about this film. <laughs> yeah. Two thousand and seven color scheme. Oh, everyone, everyone. <laughs> Orange is underappreciated. I just keep thinking about it now, especially while I'm doing all my um, plants on Animal Crossing. <laughs> Many of you know, if you're watching, I had to restart my Animal Crossing island. So now I understand the concept of when you go to Tom Nook, you say, what do I do? And what, that's he's, what he does. Yeah, you have to, you have to do that. <laughs> so every day you go to Harv's Island and you are doing a, basically like a wedding photo shoot for oh, this couple for their anniversary. And you get to like decorate the room and then take their picture. Aww. And my whole uh, living room is now wedding themed. That's amazing. That's an art reference for yeah. anyone. You should all know who Jackson Pollock is. Okay, well. Wow. Over here, she is tilting the cup. Oh, is that not what we were supposed to do? Oh my god, it's not what I've been doing. I don't, I don't know what I've been doing because the cups are so different. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, it's very hard to see. So or hold. Yeah, we will insert um, some close-ups of our paint pour rocks. Oh. It's because you probably can't see her now. So um, all in all, how do, should we start rating them like out of 10? Like, do we want to rate like, what what scale are we rating them? How fun it was, how successful we were? Um, I would say let's do like overall. So like okay. one being you did not enjoy this project, 10 being that was fun, I'd do it again. Okay, cool. Okay, so this project, I would have to rate You're gonna make me rate it first because you picked it. So. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say, I'd say a six out of Oh, okay. I was gonna give it a nine. <laughs> oh, okay. Everything we've done so far has been a lot harder than it looks. Right. But I thought. And actually, now that they're starting to dry, I yeah. see it a lot more than when it was like, yes. just poured out. From out. the first rock, yeah. Um, was definitely, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because yeah. it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. So I was like, oh, discouraged. But like going from throughout the process, I think we got pretty good at it, yeah. yeah. I, I think we did, we were successful to an extent. Yeah. I The reason I rated it only about halfway, of, uh, I would do it again, is because I, the unpredictableness. I yeah. wanna know a majority of what's gonna happen. Right. And this is like so unpredictable that it, it's scary. There's gotta be a science behind it. Not no. necessarily science, yeah. but like, Right, if you're going for a certain look, like, oh, we yeah. need to layer it this way. I think for the next time, if we were to do it, yeah. a heat gun. I don't know if that's what they use, but I'm gonna assume. The, yeah. The smaller surfaces worked for me. Yeah. I don't know if it's because of the small cups we're using. Yeah. Or the paint we're using, something was so hard to transition from the small <laughs> ones to the large yeah. ones. Yeah, I also think the wood, I really think it absorbed the paint more. That makes sense. I think they're a great decoration for your home though. Oh no, for you sure. Know? I'm gonna find a dish and put all of these dried rocks in it when I'm done. <laughs> for sure. But I think it was fun. Okay, actually, I'm gonna change mine. I'm okay. gonna change mine. <laughs> because honestly, I keep looking down at the rocks and they're actually really good yeah. on both of them. So I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. if I were, I would rate the rocks a seven. Okay, and okay. one a six. Yes. Like, I did not enjoy the bigger surface. It was frustrating to mix enough to cover the whole surface. Yeah. And honestly, like, it was such a high with finishing, from going from that to that to the yes. big one that was frustrating. Yeah. At and least we tried. <laughs> and of course, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you keep uh, those notification bells on so you know when our next video is coming out, which should be next week after this one. Let us know if you have any craft ideas in yes. the comments or on Instagram, Twitter. Just tweet them or say them. Um, yeah, so uh, see you next week. See you next week. Bye.